All right, what's up y'all? Um, so I guess this is going to be a uh, stage three slash four of the shed shenanigans. So uh, as you recall, phase two, got the gravel in, tampered it down, all good. The uh, shed was supposed to show up maybe closer toward the end of the month. I just got a call about an hour or two ago saying they wanted to deliver tomorrow. Um, I wasn't quite ready for it. Uh, just because I, I still had the the pine which is this guy it's kind of hard to see it's got sun in my eyes hard to see my screen but I uh, got this this wimpy pine tree over here that was going to come down we got a uh, burning bush over here that was going to pull up it's going to go right here so after we pulled the tree up weeds moved in really quick so clear that out whatever but main thing I need to do for them to show up tomorrow is this gate is not wide enough it's only eight foot and it's a 12 foot wide shed they said they needed roughly uh about 13 feet to get through so i started pulling those slats out so you see through here slats i just pulled out it only took me about 10 15 minutes to get the slats out on both sides there were uh staples holding into the slats so most of them there i want to try to reuse them um, some of them did break off and I did lose two or three of them. So I'll have to, uh, make do and maybe find some more of those staples. I don't have a, uh, staple gun like that. Um, but these are all pulled up. So now I have to get the, uh, post up here, the post up here. So, uh, I'm going to try to rig something up to uh, use my car jack, much like I did with the deck when I pulled the, uh, uh, posts out for the deck. Um, so I'll maybe like screw a piece of wood to the uh, post and then that way I can get a jack underneath it and just boop, pop them right up. And then with the wiring still connect to it, I'll just pull the gate and post and everything. And I'll just kind of bend it back and set it back here. And then same deal with this side. I'll just take this post up and kind of fold it back with the wiring and set it out there out of the way. And uh, they should be able to come right through. We'll probably, I'll have to take the slide off and then they'll come through there. But uh. I've got to take this pine tree down. I've got to dig this burning bush up and uh, kind of on the fence whether or not it's going to get done tomorrow. Okay, so it's about 9.30. Got everything done. I had to uh, call upon backup and backup for backup. Um, so the uh, tree is down over there. It's all stacked up. Got a bunch of uh, branches all thrown into the back of the truck so I can take that down to the landscape place dump that off so it can be turned into uh, mulch so whatever I have left is right there we uh, trimmed up on the hydrangeas wife cut on the hydrangeas while I was working on the um, fence post trying to get those out that did not go as planned and I kind of expected it and I was very very fearful of pulling these posts up but it is done so uh got these to keep the kids from falling down into the huge hole all right so one on the other side over here i got a bag in the board there so basically what happened with that was i started i got all the uh the slats out got the fence uh wiring pulled back did it on both sides um, when I went to try messing with the post to try to get it out, I tried doing it in the same way that I did with the deck where I just put a jack underneath it and jacked it up and pulled the post right out, concrete and all, but that did not go as planned. So what ended up happening was when I went to pull on these posts, um, they wouldn't come up. I tried putting a, a two by four against the uh, post and then put a card jack underneath it and tried to grab that two by four and just lift the uh, the post straight up. It was yanking the uh, screws right out of the post. So that wasn't working. It actually broke some screws off. Um, so nothing was working uh, how I wanted. Um, even, uh, you know, I tried doing a couple different methods to try to get the thing out. It just wasn't happening. Um, I went far when I started you know really pushing on the uh the post back and forth the one on the left side i heard crack a little bit and that's when i stopped um but i called for 
my other backup. Um, so my neighbor across the street came with a chainsaw. He cut down the pine tree down. So a huge shout out to my neighbor, uh, John, for taking down that tree for me. And then we got it all cut up and everything. Um, my old neighbors, Bill, uh, who owns a fencing company who actually put this fence in. So huge, huge shout out to Cantrell Fence. They uh, have uh, definitely come through for me on numerous occasions. Um, great friends. They've, uh, they've always helped me out. Um, but uh, so I called them to see if there was any uh, tricks or anything I should do to try to get this post out of the ground. And he said basically hit it with a spud bar, break the concrete, and then uh, try to break it out. Or if you have you know someone with a dingo or something, you can wrap a chain around it and just lift it up and lift it right out. Kind of what I was trying to do. Don't have any of that, so I was kind of screwed. So I was trying to work with a little bit more. After I got filmed with him, about five minutes later, he called back and they said, "Hey, uh, do you are you really stuck right now?" It's like, yeah, I'm pretty much up a creek right now. So him and his son Billy came out and they uh were able to get these out so they had to break out the jackhammer and spud bars and trying to dig around on it so uh um i really appreciate them coming out and helping me out because there was no way i could have gotten that done um especially with with what i had you know trying to use a shovel or something or a sledgehammer wasn't going to happen so from now i am completely set up all right it is shed day it is coming down the road right now God, that thing is huge. So I'll try to record what I can of the uh, shed being dropped off here.
right there she is got a uh, ramp that came with it or got the windows open to try to cool it off a little bit so uh, kind of disappointed with myself you can see there's some bricks they had to put underneath it because backside over here and I'm getting on level it uh, started to drop down a little bit on me I uh, tried the best I could I mean I had lines and bubble levels and all that stuff and just wasn't quite there but it must be a uh, common thing because he had all these bricks with him so he kind of dug it out and put a couple over there so since I do happen to have a uh, bunch of gravel I can maybe just build this up a little bit more some two by fours or something if I can actually get a hold of any because there's a lumber shortage and then I can take some more of the gravel that I got left over and fill that up a little bit more and make it not as noticeable that I screwed up. But let's uh, take a tour inside the new shed, shall we? We've got spring-loaded latches here. Like so, hold it open. Same one on this side. There you go. So this is a 12 by 16 lofted garden shed. So I have two lofts. They're uh, right about, I'm um, standing underneath it and I still have room. It's maybe about six and a half feet tall, about uh, four feet wide. And I have the same thing on that side. And I did opt to have a couple vents put in. I can't tell. Looks like there is uh, some, maybe some screen in there to keep the, the bees and the bugs out. No one over here. It's got R11 insulation across the top. So my possible plan is this backside wall here, when you first walk in, I have a couple cabinets that I might be able to hang here. That'll keep my chemicals. I can put the riding mower over here, the push mower, my spreader, maybe uh, the aerator over there, I'm not sure. If not, I can put it over here. Kids, uh, uh, go, go car, power wheel, whatever, can go over here. And then maybe I can take some more of my tools, shovels and whatnot, and kind of line them up on the uh, on the wall as well not sure what I'll do with the uh, the loft yet I told the wife maybe we can put some uh, Christmas decorations up there kind of store them out of the way instead of in the attic so it's easier to get to them she uh, she went too crazy about the idea so I don't know what's up with that but I'll come up with some reason for it uh, always always a need for extra space right so um Another thing that I thought about possibly doing, and I could just be talking out my rear and never get to it. Sometimes I talk out the rear. Maybe I should have been in politics. But, wall behind me, I kind of thought about maybe I've got some insulation. Maybe I could insulate it and throw some uh, drywall up and really uh, make the thing kind of fancy. Paint the, uh, the floor. Don't know yet. Guess we'll see. But, uh, I'm, uh, pretty happy with this shed so I've got some stuff I need to start moving and uh, I guess I will catch you all in the next one.